praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. And man, my daughter, Pastor Joanne, I just want your listeners to know that the Lord has spoken with me in a very, very mighty way. The Lord Jehovah, the creator of Jerusalem, the creator of Israel, the omnipotent God of heaven, the God that takes people to heaven, the same God that takes people to hell, Jehovah Elohim, the cornerstone of Zion. He has spoken with me in a very, very mighty way. Even as we begin our mission to Europe, the Lord has spoken with me about the upcoming historic grand mega end of year healing service it will take place in the city of Kisumu. And in that conversation that the Lord engaged me on, I see the field of the meeting. The Lord already took me to the field and I walked the length of the meeting, the, of, of the field of the meeting. And I walked also the breadth of that field of the meeting. And as I walked, the Lord Jehovah was walking on my right hand side and speaking to me about that field of the meeting in Kisumu. And as the Lord Jehovah walked with me, the entire length of that meeting, the field of the meeting in the city of Kisumu, and then walked with me also across the entire breadth of that field of the meeting in the city of Kisumu. Then the voice of the Lord said, this is where the church will be. And then at that time, he lifted me up and I saw a tremendous unspoken, unseen, massive healing service of the Lord. I saw a healing anointing drop from heaven as has not been seen before. I saw the mighty power of the healing anointing of Jehovah drop before, fall on the meeting. And the entire inch, every single inch of that field was covered with an unbelievable spoken and seen healing anointing of Jehovah. Then I saw the cripples getting up and walking in their largest numbers that I could not reach. The blind eyes opening across the entire place. The deaf ears opening that I could not reach. The mute. The new tongues being loosened that they were speaking for the first time with excitement. Uh, I saw the lamb drop their crutches, their legs stretched and pulled and strengthened. They were walking away. Then I saw the paralytics get off their wheelchairs. Some of them get off their beds, beds and stretchers and mattresses. Even the young ones walking away, the weak necks of babies. And I saw the, the babies whose brains were weak, also strengthened and fully restored. I saw tumors dissolve. They took cancer dry up. I saw leukemia dry from the blood. I saw diabetes deleted. I saw HIV deleted from the blood. I saw people with wounds dry, even those that looked more like leprosy. I saw an unbelievable unspoken, that which was promised in the Bible only to be seen at this time. That healing, I have seen it before the field of the meeting in the city of Kisumu. Oh, how blessed is that city to see the end revival of Jehovah, the final walking of God before, right before the Messiah arrived. And I saw all other conditions, including the lunatics being free, right from the moment the Lord walked his servant. He walked with he was literally walking on my right hand side, very close, less than one meter away. 
and speaking to me about this meeting and doing the works of heaven in this meeting. Heaven is coming down in Kisumu at the end of this year, December 31st and January 1, when the mighty, grand, mega revival healing service of this year to crown up the year and to begin the new year 2016. I saw different bleeding conditions, women with bleeding also stopped. Everything happened in the field, and I saw different levels of that healing. The Lord showed me the first level, which covered the entire field. Then I saw another level of healing that now consumed the peripheries of the field, because people were so many. Some of them were at the peripheries. I saw millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people, some of them were in big crowds at the peripheries of the field because it was totally jumped up, shoulder tight. And then that level, the second level, began to consume the peripheries, and the healing of the Lord totally consumes that upcoming meeting. How awesome to break this news from the throne of Jehovah in heaven at this hour when the church indeed is aware that we are sitting on the verge of eternity. How blessed it would be to be in that meeting when the church is sitting at an hour and anything can happen at any time. And so there is going to be a mercy visitation of heaven. The God of heaven who has settled his cloud in the church. The creator of all the heavens, all the planets, all the oceans, the lakes, rivers, and the nations, and all mankind and all living beings, plus the rocks, stones, and mountains, the creator of every single creation ever kept being. He is bringing heaven to Kisumu at the end of this year, and every single condition, whatever the kind, from the cancers, the tumors, the leukemias, rating from the beginning of the cripples, the blind, the deaf, the mute, the lame, paralytics, spinal cord injuries, the weak necks, the people without bones, bones in the skull, that are weak, that are broken, rotting bodies. The Lord is going to do what he has not done before. It is as though Elder 1 and 2 is going to be cumulatively combined and come down on Kisumu. What a mighty time to live for anybody on this earth to live to hear these beautiful tidings of heaven, the tidings of the throne of God coming to visit the nation at the verge of eternity, to prepare the church for righteousness, to prepare the church for holiness, to prepare the church for the coming of the kingdom of the Messiah, to prepare the church for these wonderful days of revival, that the hearts of men may return to the Lord that their hearts may be swept away from the things of the world, from the beclouding and the deluding of this decaying and perishable earth, the worldliness we see today. What a wonderful opportunity to partake of this visitation and enter to see the kingdom of God. And so, for all those that will be privileged to come, this is the hour to begin preparing repentance and righteousness that you may not miss this unbelievable anointing, this anointing that has not been seen in the church, this healing anointing that will fall, will drop, will drop from heaven and fall into the meeting of the field in the city of Kisumu. Even as we leave to Europe, this has shocked me because I have a few nations ahead of me here, and then the Lord speaks about the mighty, grand, mega, historic, Revival healing service in the city of Kisumu. Oh, how beautiful are the days we need to see. Oh, how blessed are those that live to partake of this final healing anointing and visitation of Jehovah our God. These are the days that the Bible spoke about. The days when the hearts of men will be driven away from the things of the world by the massive anointing of the visitation of the Lord. I have seen the Messiah coming, and these are the processes that will prepare the church for the glorious coming of the Messiah. It is this level of visitation that the Lord 
has sent me whose tidings to decree and pronounce across the face of the earth, these, these beings are the ones that were meant to convince, to win back the hearts of men from the world back to Jesus. May the Lord bless all those who have heard this, but they may know that the King of Kings, the Redeemer of all men, is finally coming to redeem his church from the perils and the pains and the sorrows of this world, that she may have eternity of peace, eternity of blessedness, eternity of bliss in the glorious kingdom of eternity, the kingdom of God in heaven. Those who have ears, indeed, prepare the way for his glorious return. Shalom. Thank you.